first thing you have to do when you're wanting to replace the vinyl lettering on your boat is obviously take the old lettering off your boat. Um, there's some considerations that have to be looked at. Uh, what's the boat made out of? Is it, a, is it a metal boat? Is it a wood boat? Is it a fiberglass boat? In this particular case, we're dealing with fiberglass. The reason that matters is because you don't want to hurt your boat. You don't want to hurt the finish of your boat as you're taking the lettering off. And then uh, as we go to start putting the lettering on, we're going to be looking at other factors. Um, for example, on a fiberglass boat, you, it's kind of hard to tell, I'm sure, from the video, but this boat's a little bit oxidized. It's not an old boat. It's a nice boat. Um, so the surface is acceptable, but it is oxidized a little bit. What we're going to do before we put the lettering on is we're just going to try to clean it up and polish it up real good. We're not going to wax it first or anything like that. Um, just make sure it's really clean and smooth and take as much of that rough texture off of there. Um, basically smooth and shiny is the best surface for the lettering to stick to. So um, outside of that on the removal portion we want to be very careful not to damage it with the heat gun or to scratch it as we're taking it off. So because it's fiberglass we're going to use a little bit more care there so you can kind of look out for that as we go forth in the video. Alright so we're going to start removing lettering from our boat. Um, this uh, was done by the customer before it got to us, so this is not um, our handiwork that you see here, but you can see that the customer decided this lettering didn't look good and wanted to take it off. And I want to talk just a little bit about some of the problems that it's obvious they ran into. Uh, first thing you see is they tried to take this F off, and it's obvious that there's little chunks of vinyl left all over the place. This is very common as the vinyl gets older it gets more brittle it doesn't stretch so as you start to try to remove it what's going to happen is it's just going to come off in little pieces. So if you're trying to take your vinyl off and you're running into this problem it's it's not an uncommon problem and there are definitely ways to work around that. Um, so again I'm taking a little chunk off here this one's actually coming off pretty good but you see how it rips off there this obviously is coming off better than their F was. Um, this actually wouldn't be too bad. So, but if you look over here, if I start trying to take this F off, instead what's happening is little chunks are coming off. And the reason for that is because the vinyl just doesn't want to stay in one piece. It's going to rip and it's going to tear. All right, there's a couple different methods to removing vinyl lettering. One is to just see if you can peel it off. If it peels off and it cooperates, then, then that's great. Get as much of it off that way as you can. You're not going to really speed that process up too much. But in most cases, old lettering is going to come off pretty hard. So, and there's multiple phases. The first thing we want to do is get rid of all this black, um, which is going to get down to the adhesive that's left. So stage one, we want to clear off all the letters so that we have nothing left. The easiest way to do that is to get a heat gun. You could probably use a hair dryer, but keep in mind they're not going to put out nowhere near as much heat. Again, this is a fiberglass boat, so I want you to use a lot of caution not to get it too hot. You just want to get it hot enough that you see the vinyl starting to come off. Now you could try this with your fingernails, but I'm going to recommend instead that you use a device that we call a little chiseler. Um, and its purpose is just that. It's plastic, so it's not going to damage the surface. You heat this vinyl up and we just scrape it off. All right, so this is the heat gun that we're using here. Um, and again, primary precaution, we don't want to overheat and hurt the finish of the boat. You don't want to burn yourself. They can be pretty hot. You could potentially just use a hair dryer, but keep in mind they're not going to get nearly as hot as a heat gun. Most heat guns have multiple settings. One is on the trigger here. You can go to one or two. And then others have a knob. Sometimes it's here. This one happens to be on the back. I recommend that you start at the lowest setting. See if it's warm enough to heat the lettering up so that it just comes right off. Um, if it's not really feeling like it's getting warm, obviously you can turn the heat gun up, uh, gun up as you go. All right, so I'm turning on setting one. I'm on low. You can feel it. It's getting warm. It's warm that fast. So what you do is you just heat up the area where you're wanting to take the letters off. I, again, don't stick your finger right in front of the heat gun because it can get pretty warm, but heat it up for a little bit, like say 10 seconds. Feel the surface. If it feels like it's pretty warm, which this is, go ahead at that point and just take your chiseler and start scraping the vinyl off. And you can see how it takes vinyl and even a lot of the adhesion comes off with it. So we'll t I'll go on to a full letter here. I'll heat this nine up just a little bit. And remember that this was just coming off really hard in little pieces. We heat it up just a little bit, we take this, if it seems stubborn, heat it up a little bit more. Just watch that surface so you don't get it so hot that it starts cracking and stuff. Kind of try to stay ahead of it. And you're just scraping it off. Again, this is a plastic chiseler, so it's made to do this and you're not, you're not going to damage, I mean I'd be shocked if you damage really any painted surface, it'd be a pretty poor surface if you are. 
and you're just going to continue this until you get as much of the we're primarily going after the lettering but any adhesive that comes off makes it to where we don't have to clean it off in the last step and you just peel it off and you're just going to continue to do this until it's all gone